What's up guys, welcome back to Jungle, back to another video. And in today's video, we are working with the M3. The goal is, is to get this thing on the ground. The goal is, is to get the car to the shop, get the frame pulled out. That is the dream. Now, obviously, if we can get all that done in this video, the car should be running and driving, and then we just have all the little touches. That's obviously the goal. Now, a lot of things could go wrong, and this is nor in the future, so it's a nor video as well, so that gives you guys a hint. Um, I wish this was nor in the past. I'd be a little bit more optimistic, but it is what it is. But before we actually get into the video, I wanna show you guys what happened about two months ago when I had the 335 IS. I almost got robbed. Oh, snap, I didn't see, what, what are you doing? What, what do you want Stop from Stop talking, me? Oh, give me your wallet. wallet, give me all your money. Why, why do you want my wallet? Okay, all right, all right, here's my wallet. Here's my other wallet. Just please, you can even take the car, whatever you want. Those are some nice wallets, my dude. Where'd you get those wallets from? Oh, these? Oh, th these are from Simply Carbon Fiber. Yeah, <laughs> I know, they're pretty sick. And uh, yeah, I actually got this one a couple, you know, a couple weeks back, and I absolutely loved it. It's a couple months back, actually, be, to be honest with you. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm kind of afraid. Um, just, just, yeah, give, give me a second. Um, it, so is it a couple weeks or a couple months? Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, so this wallet is from Simply Carbon Fiber. Um, this one I got it a couple months ago, Alcantara uh, Carbon Finish, absolutely beautiful. And I, I, I had this in my F80 for the longest time. Um, oh, you have an F80, where's that at? Oh no no! I mean, uh, uh, forget forget that I said I had an F80. I, I'm I'm just uh, I, I'm you know like the fruit, the fruit, yeah, ah, the F80 fruit. The fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, uh, so this wallet, I actually got it for this car. I absolutely love this wallet. This is all carbon fiber. This is worth like a million dollars. Like, I mean, if you if you take this, you can run, and no one can ever see you ever. You know, this thing just fits anywhere. It's it's amazing. And honestly, even if the cops are right behind you, they will not notice this in your pocket. It's so tiny. Um, but yeah, if you want it, just 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 please take everything and uh yeah just uh, just leave me alone please yeah those are pretty nice wallets i'm not gonna lie oh oh yeah no thank you so much yeah no so you want it so where'd you get them from yeah so yeah no no i just got these from simply carbon fiber they're absolutely amazing and uh, right now if you actually use my code um you guys can get a discount on both of these like just anyone like me right now yeah, or yeah, just YouTube, your viewers bro. youtube yeah and you bro just use my code you guys can get a discount on these carbon fiber wallets You're like what 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 nicer way to have all your money and all your cards in something that looks so good, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, all right, is that all? Okay. It looks like I'm gonna be doing a little bit of shopping tonight.
Guys, this is the next morning. So we got the wheel on there, we got everything situated. The caliper actually has no brake pads on it, so that caliper is already seized. I feel like it's gonna get destroyed with the caliper altogether. We have a brand new, uh, not caliper, we have a brand new rotor coming in. Um, the caliper, we're gonna have to get a new one because unfortunately that did seize. Um, and also, uh, with this brand new hub, it has a, like a, uh, what's it called, a uh, strip lug or whatever, like a broken lug, so we're gonna have to extract that somehow. Um, anyhow, a lot of things going on, but for the most part, it is drivable. We can get it on the trailer. It is not drivable on streets, but it is definitely able to drive onto a trailer, make our life a whole lot easier. So let's go ahead, get this down to the frame shop, get that frame pulled back out so that stuff for both can go in there and we have that peace of mind and this car should be ready to go. First stop, guys, the gas station. <laughs> we definitely need gas. This thing is lying to us. Uh, we're pretty much, I think, at a quarter tank, so we'll definitely make it there, but we're not gonna make it to Vallejo uh, with a quarter tank of gas, especially towing. Guys, it took us, this is our third or fourth U-Haul, and this one has, like, this one stole all of them. <laughs> and then we went to three or four other U-Hauls, and they didn't have any U-Hauls, bro. And this one had the U-Haul, so thank God we got a U-Haul. Let's head down, get the car from our place, and then head down to the frame shop. I'm hoping we can get this dialed in today, so I can pick it up today, so I don't have to rent a trailer two days in a row, if you guys know what I mean. It doesn't work. The brakes, you go all the way in, nothing. Thank God for the e-brake, man. Bro, if there's no e-brake, I wouldn't have even brought it. Oh, shit. Dude, almost fell on. Oh, my on. <laughs> Okay. Okay, cool, cool. So we just dropped off the E92 M3. So unfortunately, again, I'm gonna be as transparent with you guys as possible. This is a clean title, and typically people who are trying to sell a clean title eventually do not want to disclose every little thing. But the point of this channel is to save BMWs and tell you guys like the full story and what goes behind actually rebuilding a BMW. Now, this one in particular, they looked at where the damage is. It's so minor that they can probably just pull on it and then put in that screw. But the problem is if they pull on it, it's gonna pull the whole rail forward, which could actually damage the whole front end where everything is mounted to the front end so that is a really high risk so he said what we're gonna have to do is honestly remove the whole front end and make sure uh, when we actually move that piece forward that it's not actually gonna tweak anything else and uh, it's kind of risky stuff here but at the same time I just told him you know what let's just remove the whole front end and just have something hold it from the front and then pull on it so it's not gonna tweak anything and make any permanent damage to the car um, so unfortunately it looks like it may not be done for at least a god knows even a week so we're gonna have to post on this book for a little bit um, see, hopefully they can dial everything in for us. But we're gonna be heading over to Copart right now. So yeah, if you guys are excited to see the next build, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys are excited to hear the news on the E92 M3, trust me, as soon as I know, you guys will know. But without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace out.